Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome to another video for the AH-64D. Now we're going to be using the gun uh, with the TADS, uh, the, the TDU, and also the heads-up display uh, for firing the gun uh, on some targets that are just behind these trees over here. So we're just going to come around so they don't uh, feel threatened by us. We can actually shoot the gun from quite some distance. So I'll show you how to do uh, just that. We're just moving around the trees. Probably come around over here to the uh, left of these bushes. Not paying any attention to any of the uh, symbols just yet. I'll just use uh, George to get us around there. Coming right. Go to 180. Coming right. Coming right. And just slow down. Copy, just slow one down. 210. Coming right. Copy, Alright, there's the targets there, so we're going to stop here. Copy, uh, drop us to... Roger, 500. Decreasing, out. Roger. decreasing altitude. And we'll get him to face. Coming right. Coming right. You're coming around. Now, technically, you're not going to be coming able right. to do this uh, when things are shooting at you. But obviously, they don't know we're here yet, and if they did... Uh, they'd be uh, thinking that we're on recon, or they're about to get effed up, and they'd be driving away. But anyways, first off, uh, with the symbology, we know that the targets are out there. So we need to make sure that we're on the gun page by selecting gun. Uh, we also need to select, see that we are armed. We're going to select gun. We want to make sure that we're armed by pressing the arm button. And we want to make sure that we box the arm button. On the left-hand side, we have our bursts. So we can burst to 20. Uh, 10, 50, uh, 100, or all weapons all at once. Uh, other modes that we have is modes fixed and normal. So we're just going to leave it on normal for now. Um, and we don't need any of the other acquisitions here. Turn that back to fixed. Same thing that we can do with the uh, TADS. Uh, the T A U D T R. Yeah, the T D U or T D. Yeah, T D U. So we can use the same thing. Uh, with the TDU and slave the gun to the TDU. As you can see, we're in the, the bad side at the moment. So we can find these targets, wherever they may be. So they should be out to the front, so I'll bring the aircraft, I'll bring the TV around. We've got targets. Same one in. So we have a couple of trucks there, we've got a BMP as well. And we can just hold that there. We have 300 rounds as you can see, we're fixed. Gun triggers open, and we can just fire. But, we can't just fire, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna laser range find this, okay? So we're gonna go laser. So that's 2,215. So we wanna be quite accurate for that truck. So, we can come down here to manual range, and we type in the number 2,215. 2,215. Or, roughly in the ballpark that you think that the aircraft's going to fire at. We can hit enter. And now, we should be able to hit that truck, no worries. We'll just aim a little bit below the truck there, and fire. Oh, we actually got it. Ah, I was uh, thinking that it wouldn't work. But anyways, it did. Alright, so, now if we were trying to hit the other one at the back. Uh, now we're at two, it's only probably another hundred odd meters. So we'll just aim it just a little higher than the truck. Couple of rounds inbound, over there. And as you can see, we kind of missed out on the truck. So we need to rearrange relays the truck there. So we're at 2,258. So I'll do that. 2,258. And fire again. 
We got the BMP as well in splash damage. Alrighty. Do one more. And that's how you can fire the gun with that. Now, another way to fire the gun is with your helmet mount. So we're going to change the sight to H, uh, HMD and we can use the helmet mount. So wherever I'm looking, the gun will be looking. So basically think about it as the box. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom up. Oh no. Increasing altitude. Bring it down. My alarm's going off. Roger. Decreasing altitude. We're going to set it into hover bob up. Right. We're going to tell him to come forward. Moving forward. So basically, the gun is looking where that uh, box is inside the box on the, the bottom of our HUD. We're telling the old guy to move up behind us. And we can just zoom in and aim. So the aim is a little off with this. So you would normally do this. On infantry or building, it's not as accurate. There is a Stop. there is another way, uh, as you can see. I'm I'm not as good. Oh, I, I might have got one then. So I'm not as good when it comes to the a heads up play. From this distance, anyway. So what I'm uh, aiming for is the bottom of the the X there, or the, the bottom of the plus sign. So as you can see, I'm a little off. But to make it a little bit more uh, user friendly, we can go ahead and select the ads on our screen. And we can use this. Now this is more for night time, but if it suits you during the day as well, you can do that. Just via setting the gain up and maybe some level. And as you can see, you can just sit there, shoot that. If you want to find out what the laser is, it's 1,000 meters. So for 1,000 meters, you want to bring the, uh, the gun down like that a bit. Fire away. Because we're still sitting at... Uh, thousand something on meters won't we and there it is so that's how you fire the gun uh, using the uh, HMD or the iHads or the TATS sorry about that I just have to fix my seat up <clears throat> but yeah thank you very much guys and I'll see you on the next one